What's happening guys and welcome back to another video. It is today the last day of the course fishing river season. Um, unfortunately the river I have been fishing recently and catching good perch from is unfishable. It's absolutely tanking through. Uh, we had a look at it this morning even with 14 grams wasn't holding bottom, uh, losing gear left, right and centre, just wasn't worth it. So uh, Chris and Jacob, who I'm fishing with today, suggested a backup plan and they've dragged me to this little river in a little urban spot. Um, and to be honest, <laughs> this, this video may never see the light of day. I'm not feeling over conf overly confident. It's very shallow, um, quite quick, little bit of colour to it, not ideal winter conditions. Um, but what are you going to do? Last day of the river season, you have to make something of it. So we're going to give it a go. Um, we're going to bounce our way along, fishing for perch. I've been told there's a possibility of chub too uh, and some pike, so we'll just see what we bump into. Let's do it. Okay, so very quickly, I'm just going to run you through on the move uh, how I'm fishing and what I'm fishing with. We'll be fishing with Cheb weights and Texas rigs. Um, the idea is just sort of bumping around in the slacks, hoping to sort of knock into a chub or a perch or wherever else might want to want to take my bait. Uh, and on the hook, that is a uh, a zoom craw uh, a friend picked me up some in america um and they're, they're really good baits and they're really cheap and there's loads in the pack so they're uh, they're nice for fishing these snaggy rivers where i don't really mind losing the odd one here and there um yeah so that's that's the tactics nothing nothing complicated all very very simple stuff you've seen on this channel loads and loads and loads of times before and uh yeah it's just gonna be a case of just getting uh, miles under feet keep moving and try and find them 10 hours later. Okay, we've been fishing for about an hour and nothing has happened. Uh, if I'm honest, I'm about 90% sure I've been stitched up here. I think those northern boys have got together and thought, Christ, let's throw the southern geezer for a loop, take him away from all these lovely perch he's been fishing and chuck him on a little ditch and hope he doesn't catch anything on the last day of the season. So uh, that's what it feels like at the moment. I feel like it's one of those places I need to catch one to feel, find my confidence. Um, these guys have caught fish here before, so, so they say. Um, we're going to see if I can tick one off. Uh, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um, it's a bit, for want of a better term, shit or bust. Uh, I'm fishing quite big, but I feel like I want to grab the attention of any fish that are in the area. Not really interested in catching small fish, wasps or small chub. If I catch a fish, I'd like to make, make sure it's a good one. So uh, big baits, fishing quite aggressively, very quickly in a swim, in and out, two or three casts and move on and actually try and locate the fish. So uh, that's the tactics. This is sort of what my thoughts are. Let's uh, see if we can convert them into a fish. I'm absolutely convinced these two have had me through the ringer here. They see I can hear them plotting ahead of me. They said something about a stupid southerner. I'm sure of it. Or am I just getting paranoid? It's a good job it's the last day of the season, I guess. Oh, I should have pulled out my hand. Did you watch the rod tip? No, I didn't see it. How did I hook whatever that was? Oh, I just missed another one. Yeah. And again. Must be trout, I reckon. Did it? I reckon it's trout. Got it. Yep. No. <laughs> that wasn't what was going to bite us off, I promise. Did you not see that what followed? I thought Did you not see what it was, Lana? I had three or four bites then. I, one of them was a rod, like literally the rod 
tip wrap round like. Well, you'd think so, yeah. Yeah, got it. It's got to be a pike, I think. It's a chub! <laughs> yes! Wicked. Some weight in that mess. That's a big one, isn't it? Well, it is not a last day perch, it is a last day chub. And that is a big one. Um, I think the guys were getting a little bit sick of me saying how uh, I didn't have much confidence in this river, but they uh, they came good, they took me to a good spot and I caught a good fish and I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, if my river season ends here, I'll, I will take it, but we're gonna get this one back and see if there's a few more. Before I do that, I'm gonna measure it and weigh it because I don't think it's quite on my PB level, but it would be my Northeastern PB. So we're gonna weigh it and get some measurements and uh, I'll add it in later on in the video. So uh, yeah, great stuff. Okay, we're gonna get this fish put back. I'm unsure if it's the same fish, but a good four or five bites. So Jacob's gone in there now and he's gonna try and get himself one. Still in there. Come on. They love it when they don't wanna do what you want to do. There we go, away she goes. Okay, we're having a good laugh between us because I have been Mr. Moan a minute today, uh, claiming there's no fish in this river, um, being really uber negative, which don't like me, but I think I was just a bit disappointed that the last day of the season was gonna be a bit of a washout, but that one chub has really changed the day. And uh, if I don't catch anything now, or for the rest of the day, I'm not, I'm not overly worried. I'd like to see the other guys get something now. So we're gonna concentrate, try and find another little pocket fish and uh, keep chucking this little, Little zoom crawl around and uh, try and catch another one. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but it feels big. It's got to be a pike. Yeah, it's pike. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Is it? No, it's not a pike. Is it a pike? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go down, I'm gonna have to follow it because the flow's taking me down. Here it comes. Well done. Well, there we go. That is uh, not what it was after, but uh, it really gave me the run around. I hope I got it on uh, GoPro because it jumped clear of the water. Tiny little urban stream, and that's where these fish are living. Uh, mega healthy. Awesome colours. Um, yeah, we we'll keep going. Like I said, not what we're after, but we will take it. Okay, so I'm sure just run you through quickly what my thought process was when I sort of got into the swim. The river is going from right to left, as you see it. It's quite wide here, so I'll give you an idea. And there is quite a strong flow coming in front of this little spit. And behind here is a big slack. I had a couple of casts, there's another slack here. I had a couple of casts here, nothing. Literally first cast over there and whack had that pike. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an insight to sort of the, my thinking behind it and the water crafty part of it that you don't often get to see. I sort of knew that there's, there's quite a strong flow here. If there are fish that are sort of ambushing, they're gonna be sitting on this crease. There's a crease here and you know, not necessarily I was after pike, but there was going to be a fish there. I, I was almost sure of it. And, uh, you know, as it happens, one cast, bang, pike. 
So I think I'm gonna well and truly have to eat my words here. Uh, after moaning for the first hour and a half of today's trip, um, the guys actually have come have come through with the goods. And in perfect guide fashion, neither of them has caught a fish. <laughs> They've let me do all the catching and that's fantastic. Uh, we can have loads of trips like that. I like that a lot. Um, and it's, uh, this is cool, it's a new venue, somewhere I've never fished before. I, I had zero confidence in this morning. I just think it goes to show those little sort of neglected urban streams and rivers that you probably walk past every day and assume there's nothing in there. It's worth fishing because uh, you never know what, what what might pop up. And obviously it's now the close season as you're watching this, but June will come around soon enough and uh, you can get yourself in there and have a look. So I highly recommend it. If you've got a little bit of a river, stream or a brook or whatever it may be uh, on your doorstep, you've often assumed there's no fishing. I recommend giving it a go. Okay, and with that, that is my river season done. Um, my knees are killing me, my feet are killing me. We've walked miles and miles and miles today, um, but it was great. Um, I was sort of went out with the attention of perch fishing this morning and with the, the main river, our first choice spot, absolutely buggered. We had to make do and uh, make do we did. And I'm very pleased that we did. Uh, so a big shout out to Jacob and Chris for guiding this useless southerner along the way. Um, but it was really good fun. So now we have to wait till June to do this again, but there's lots of other stuff happening in the meantime. Uh, salmon and sea trout, sea fishing will kick in soon, uh, and then the reservoir trout fishing, and hopefully, fingers crossed, there's still water pike fishing. If I can work it out, find somewhere that's, that's worth doing, then we can get into that as well. So uh, yeah, not all doom and gloom with the close season. There's lots of exciting things happening. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys, and I shall see you on the next one.